I wanted a God that loved me so much and that I loved so much, but the God of Islam, you loved him and he loves you, but salvation is not guaranteed. You fear God, because God is very powerful. Karim Shamsi Basha grew up in a devoted Muslim family in Damascus, Syria. His understanding of God was filled with fear and uncertainty but he longed for the love and grace of God that he saw through his friend Munir, who was a Christian. The God of Christianity that Munir would tell me about, that none of that existed, and I just longed for that in my teen years. I saw a freedom in Munir that I couldn't have, and I really, really wanted it, but at the same time, I was scared to death of even entertaining that thought. You can't even think those thoughts. He moved from Syria to America to attend the University of Tennessee, where he was further exposed to Christianity. I had a few friends, a few close friends, who would say, have you considered becoming Christian? I'm like, mm-mm, no way. I, I can't. I would be killed. People don't leave Islam because it's very scary to do so. It's, uh, the consequences are huge, enormous. After college, he became a professional photographer. While on assignment in Alabama, Kareem suffered a massive brain aneurysm. I felt a headache, and then within seconds, uh, it was an explosion in my head. And my, I had to shut my eyes because they felt like they were gonna pop out. And I started screaming, and I fell on the ground, and then I went black for three weeks in a coma. Nancy McCracken was his physical therapist during his long recovery. What happened in his brain was that a blood vessel, an artery, had a weak spot that ruptured and the blood leaked out into the, the surrounding brain tissue. Those areas were at risk of, of being damaged. The longer the pressure stays there, the more permanent the damage tends to be. You can be permanently vegetative state or uh, permanently paralyzed or or die. Kareem's recovery far exceeded the expectations of his medical team. My neurologist, Dr. Randolph George, the last time I saw him, put his hand on my shoulder, said, you really need to find out why you survived. I'm very serious. I've been doing this for many years and I've never seen this before. I'm like, okay, I'm alive now. But why? I don't know. People would start telling me that God saved me to tell his love story through my life. He began reading the book of John and meeting with Christian pastors in search of answers about his recovery and about Christianity. I noticed John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And I stopped right there. I closed the Bible. I was like, hmm, that's not going to work because I didn't want to come to the Father alone and leave my family behind if they don't take the same path that I'm taking. Where are they going to go? Though he loved what he read in the Bible about the love of God, he never embraced Jesus as his Savior out of love and respect for his Muslim family. Until one day, a friend challenged Kareem to put his parents and siblings in the hands of God. I said, well, if it's just Jesus and me, he's my everything. He's not only my savior, he's my everything. But what about my family? She said, Kareem, God will take care of your family. But you need to resolve Kareem and Jesus. And I started crying. Three days later, I stopped crying. I was reborn. Reborn, reborn. I can't say it enough. And it would open up the door to the love that I longed for my entire life. The God that I always wanted when I was a little boy. I can, now he lives in me. Before that point, the Holy Spirit was a foreign concept. After that point, the Holy Spirit was right here, directing me, guiding me, loving me in a, in a way that I've never, I, words can't even describe it, man. It's phenomenal. I mean, it's phenomenal. Thus far, Kareem's family remains Muslim. 
He wrote a book detailing his road to salvation from his Muslim upbringing in Damascus called Paul and Me. In it, he urges people of all faiths to turn to Jesus as Savior and Lord. The power of salvation is a beautiful thing. The grace inherent in Christianity, the simplicity of the fact that it's a gift. It's not a thing you have to work for. Muslims work their whole life trying to prove themselves good, righteous. Why do you want to work so hard for a God you're supposed to fear who's far away, who will never commune with you? You can have God in your heart who loves you unconditionally. That's how God loves us, like a father loves a son. Why would you want anything else? 